Hey everyone, welcome to Midnight Road Garage Auto Shop 101. Today we'll be playing with balls. Not those balls. These balls. When we talk about trailer hitch balls, there's generally three sizes that we're dealing with. That's one and seven eighths, which is for small utility trailers generally. Then there's a two inch ball, which is uh, used for uh, some car trailers, boat trailers, and then there's the two and five sixteenths, which um, most of my trailers are, or my car trailers are, are this size. Uh, probably a lot of stuff you would like rent from U-Haul is probably two inch as well. So um, what we do when we put one of these on is we, we put this guy on what's called an insert. And what I like to do is instead of swapping balls in and out, I swap inserts in and out. It's, uh, it's aren't really all that expensive and it's uh, a huge time saver but uh, these are these are two inch inserts so your width here is, is two inches uh, my truck actually has a two and a half inch insert and this is a adapter to adapt it down to a two inch so uh, that's what we're gonna do but first we gotta put this ball on to this insert we'll be using this wrench here for the nut on the bottom and then we'll be using this to hold that we will not be using the channel locks but if if this is all you have this will absolutely work uh, I've used channel locks many many times uh, you can use channel locks and maybe one of these guys but uh, wherever you're buying your trailer hitch ball from they probably sell one of these, uh, so I mean I have one. You can this one is this is a Reese, so it probably came from AutoZone or Advanced Auto or something like that. But uh, they sell uh, they sell these at Harbor Freight. This this is from Harbor Freight. This one's from Harbor Freight. This stuff's not. But uh, anyways, let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna take the one I have in here out. That's a simple matter of pulling that pin. And then pulling this pin out and this guy slides right out now this is a pretty heavy duty one you can see this has a uh, gross trailer weight 20,000 pounds uh, tongue weight 2700 pounds so uh, if you're really towing something big time you want one similar to this you're probably thinking Jim we haven't put the ball on the insert yet why are we taking out the old insert well that's because this is way better than trying to use a vise or having your friend hold the insert or, or anything like that. What we do is we pop that insert in there. Again, this is, this is only if you have a two and a half inch uh, hitch. So we're gonna put this in here. Now, I've got it in upside down just to make it easier to work on. So we're taking the two inch ball, put it in there. Don't forget the lock washer doesn't have a lock washer, don't use it. I'm going to put this guy on. Like so. And tighten it as much as you can. Then. On the side of that ball, there should be a couple flat spots. Depending on the ball. Some balls have a whole thing that looks like a uh, nut. But this one and, and this one have a flat spot. So take your adjustable wrench, fit it to the size. Slip it on. And use this tool. Tighten away. Now remember, this is your trailer that's going to be on here. You want this as tight as possible because the last thing you want is this nut to come off, the ball to pop out, and the trailer come flying off the back of your truck. Now you're probably thinking, well, there's safety chains. You know what? It starts with getting this guy tight. Okay. 
All right. So there you have it. That's the tight as she gets. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right on in here. Pin in. Pop that back on. She's not going anywhere. Hope you like that brief tutorial on how to put a trailer ball on. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you down the road.